So how do you make a book truly yours? How do you make it resonate with you and your capacity to learn from it? There's a simple magical technique that you can use that is, uh, is used by quite a few people that I know. And really, it just starts with writing your name in the book. So this is the Essential Gnostic Gospels. I'm going to write my name right here. If you're watching this, you should probably know my name. <laughs> Hunter Salazar. And the weight came off of that cover there. It's really a makeshift show, everyone. <laughs> All right, so I have my name there. Now, usually I would, I would pierce my finger and then... Uh, trace over my name or just kind of like go over it like that with my own blood but I wanted to actually give um, an option that has the same effect but doesn't involve you actually piercing your finger um, I usually get questions of do I have to use my own blood so for this I'm not going to use my own blood what I am going to do is two things one I'm going to grab this uh frankincense and, er and myrrh anointing oil. I'm going to put some on my finger and then I'm going to trace right over it. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Trace over it, blessing it in a way and connecting my name to that blessing. Next, I have some of my, <laughs> I trimmed off uh, several beard hairs because I didn't want to try, try to uh, trim off some on my head because I'd have to go to the back and then blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, this isn't, of course, has my DNA on it. So you don't need a whole lot of, if you're going to use blood, you don't need a whole lot of blood. And if you're going to use, um, if you're going to use hair, you don't need a whole lot of hair. Just something that has your DNA on it because that resonates with you, obviously. Just need a few, don't need a whole lot. If these would cooperate with me, that'd be wonderful. Okay, that's all you really need. Now, what I'm gonna do is take some of these olive leaves as well as an extra, uh, as an extra uh, attunement to peace. Olive leaves are connected with peace and calmness, not just the oil, but also the olive leaves. I'm gonna put a few of those on there to add to the blessing and the unification between my energy and this book. So now, all I have to do is press that down. And though it's not exactly pretty the way I did it, it serves the exact same function as if I had done it with my own blood. Plus a little bit of extra blessing with the olive leaf and the olive oil, olive oil anointing oil and then that's creating a little talisman with a lot of knowledge in it that is this book so now this book is like a talisman of learning what's in it and it's very much connected with me once again write your name go over it with anointing oil you can use olive oil if you want you can find the frankincense and myrrh anointing oil at Catholic or Christian stores. Um, crush out some olive leaf, put that on there, and uh, you can just tape right over your name. If you don't want to use tape, you can use a different um, you can use a different way to secure it. Um, I try to limit the amount of chemicals as much as possible. Tape is the most realistic way to keep these things uh, attached to my name. Um, this is a method that I normally don't use because I use blood usually, but People ask me, you know, do I have to use blood? So, no, you don't. It may not look pretty, but this serves the exact same function, plus a little extra blessing, um, along with uh, it res this book now resonating with my energy. But why did I do it with this book? So, this is something I'm not going to cover in my, or on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be reading from this book on my podcast, and I'll go ahead and put... Uh, the name of my podcast and what the picture looks like, it can be found on all podcasting uh, hosts as far as it can be found on iTunes, Spotify, Overcast, Anchor. So it's easy to find. It should be easy to find, assuming you know how to download podcasts or have a podcatching app at any rate. Um, the part of this book I'm going to be reading from on my podcast 
and just giving kind of a context about and well my thoughts on it is uh, it's from of course this book is called the essential gnostic gospels including the gospel of judas the gospel of thomas and the gospel of mary this particular version is by alan jacobs this is what it looks like so now there's a lot of there's a lot of opinions on the gnostic gospels um my idea is that they are just as old as the other Gospels, but the way they've been pieced together, the, the piecing together is fairly new, maybe around medieval times, and um, <laughs> new compared to, uh, you know, before that, of course. Um, and uh, it's, really, it's really occult Christianity in a way, which I'm, I don't have a problem with, but it's a lot of secret lessons in Christianity that you're not going to get just in the Bible. This is my opinion on it. Um, I'm not an expert, but that's just my opinion. So the part that I'm going to be reading is the Sophia of Jesus Christ. And uh, this complex uh, revelational discourse given by the resurrected Christ describes invisible celestial regions. Christ is the incarnation of the Gnostic Savior. And Sophia, the female personification of divine wisdom, an archetype of the Great Mother. So I'll be going to, into this in my podcast. So go ahead and hop over there. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this little blessing, this little uh, unification with this tome that I may learn from. And I hope you use it in your own life. And uh, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to support my work, feel free to go to www.patreon.com slash darkrealist, capital D, capital R. I only ask for a dollar a month, and I give you extra video content. I give you um, a place you can find not only my podcasts, but all my YouTube videos. It's kind of like my one-stop shop for every all the content I put out, plus some uh, special videos for just patrons. At any rate, I hope this was interesting. I hope that this subject... Um, this is one that you will follow me over to my podcast for. At any rate, thank you very much, and I hope to see all of you on the channel in the future.